641, welcome back. Bismarck Bait, uh, Base Wet Plate Colonial Artist Shane Balkowicz joins us now. Shane, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me on, Josh. So you have a, a big exhibit coming up. Um, the project, it's, um, you know, it's uh, Northern Plains Native Americans, a modern wet plate perspective. You started eight years ago. Ago, The goal is to capture a thousand um, Native Americans with this this old kind of technology that was around back in the day um, during the pioneer days so um, you've got an event coming up right on Friday to showcase this project tell us about it um, I just published my second book there will be four books eventually over the entire course of the series it's going to take me about 20 years to achieve this goal of a thousand portraits. I, as of last Friday, made 598 portraits mm -hmm. of Native Americans. Um, so at Bega on Friday at seven o'clock, I'm going to have 50 wood prints of uh, my Native American work on display there, and we're going to have some music, and we're going to do a book signing. and And the real reason for the book signing is to raise money for the American Indian College Fund, and we're also going to get some money to Bega, which is a uh, is a, is a local um, art gallery that um, we all just adore here as artists, and it's just my, my way of um, thanking them for all the work that they've done here. Yeah, so, you know, we've all, a lot of us have seen your, your wet plates. What is the wood, what do you mean by wood? You'll have 50 of the, these wood, explain what that is. Well, the original plates are uh, glass, and they're up at the State Historical Society. So I have yeah. over 800 his, uh, plates currently curated by the State Historical Society here at the at the Heritage Center, um, but what I want to do is something a little bit different, put something on display, didn't have to worry about breaking it, and, mm -hmm. and we're going to, so the 50 images that appear in the volume two of my books are, have been put onto wood plaques, and these Got plaques it. are going to be on display, and then the idea is that uh, the people, as they come in and they see their, their plaque on the wall, they can grab it and take it home as a gift. So I'm gifting all of these 50 wood wow. prints to the people that are in the book. That's awesome. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, it looks like a great book. I've seen it on Amazon and things like that. Yes. Um, but it, this project is more than just, of course, a book. The book kind of is, uh, serves as a curator piece for what is a living project, would you say? Well, yeah. Um, the, the goal is, again, all of my plates are um, curated up here at the Heritage Center. So um, the, the, the sitters that come in and see me, their great, 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 great grandchildren can come to the Heritage Center hundreds of years from now and ask to see their plate, and they'll take it off the shelf and show it to them. So there's, there's, um, there's a tradition there of showing who uh, Native Americans are in, in present day. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know we we've talked before. You've you've built up a, some great partnerships. Um, what are some of the goals? You know, you kind of just explaining how it'll be passed down. What are some goals beyond that with this project? Well, um, you have to understand this isn't just my work. It's our work. It's a collaboration. So you know, my work has been shown on business cards, on powwow posters. Um, they've been, it's been showed on um, album covers. Uh, there's just a, a call center down in Arizona, Native American call center, that just took 35 of my pieces, blew them up four feet tall, and put them inside this call center that they just installed. So um, it's not my work, um, but you know, it's, it's more than just curating the work. It's also using the work in present day, and, and my Native American friends have all kinds of ways of using this work. So it's, um, it's not my work, it's our work together, and, and, that, and that's a very important aspect of this. Absolutely. Uh, the event starts at 7 p.m. You have um, people speaking. Just give us a little bit of info on that. Uh, Dakota Goodhouse um, from United Tribes will be giving a little talk. Clay Jenkinson, the, uh, the very famous historian here in North yeah. Dakota, will be giving a brief talk. I'll give a brief talk. We're going to have some live music. Uh, Jason Morissette is bringing his singers and his, his drums um, from MHA Nation down to give us some live music. We'll have some drinks. Yeah. We will, um, we will sh uh, you know, look at the art on the walls. People will start taking the art off the walls, which is kind of an interesting kind of concept is you come in and the art starts disappearing off the walls. It's, I, I, I kind of like that idea. And then we're just going to sign books and, and the money is going to go to the American Indian College Fund and we're, um, a portion of that is also going to go to Bega, which supports local artists. All right, Shane Balkowicz, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me on. So this event is going to be awesome. It's on uh, Friday again at 7 p.m., uh, but the weather uh, will be getting a little bit warmer. Well, at least it'll be nice because it's evening. Yeah, you might want to head in to uh, get some AC this uh, this Friday because we are.